All right, what's up, YouTube? I am back with this week's Hack Club Pickups video, and this time you're gonna get two this week because I couldn't get one up last week um, due to some issues on my end. But uh, here I am with a video, uh, a ton of couple collections here that were really popular. Uh, some flew under the radar, uh, some did it in terms of the installments, but I'm excited to get uh, right into it. So uh, with that, let's start with the uh, Negro League crossover, which they called it the hometown collection, and they dropped them in variety packs. And up to this point today, they did uh, drop the last part, but I don't have it in. It was a couple weeks later, um, but I'm gonna wait for that to come, and then I will do it in a future video. So stay tuned for that. Two like uh, kind of um, members of the hack community, OC Ospreys, and I believe the Hats with Style, uh, decided to work with I believe John Justin on a pretty much a whole big series of caps uh pretty much dedicating um like a huge part of baseball uh the negro league which you know like at one point uh black people were not allowed uh to play baseball in the mlb so they had their own league so um it's very important in baseball and you know what i mean and uh players like jackie robinson and uh you know other players and stuff i can't even think off the top of my head there's just so many and uh it, it, baseball wouldn't be obviously the same and today without it obviously um, and then continuing to um, go on with the game and I was happy they were able to like kind of shine a light on this They've done like NBA crossovers NHL and stuff never done something this important So uh, happy that they did do this uh, like I said they did do it in variety packs which were pretty much by division and uh, I hope people they didn't really advertise the hack club too much uh, other than obviously if you follow designers uh, They didn't really like show what each uh, hat really kind of stood for um, So uh, I'm gonna attempt to do that I guess my own way if you don't really know so with that, let's start with the first one. It, it represents the AL West. Um, probably the most popular uh, pack um, out of the entire collection. And this is the Texas Rangers one, which is inspired by the Austin Senators. Um, so another team obviously deep in Texas. Uh, that was really cool. And I don't have this logo yet of the Texas Rangers with the cowboy hat, uh, with the ball and stuff. So uh, I really wanted this. And when I seen this, I was like, okay, this is my favorite one. And these ones sold out really quick, man. These were like within like the minute or two. Uh, and I was lucky enough to get myself one. So let's break it down for y'all. You got an entire black upper with a red uh, button. And then you got the Texas Rangers logo. You got some black, white, and red all throughout it with the baseball and the cowboy hat, which is super dope. I really like what they did there. Uh, just very clean, all right, like right off the rip. And uh, they pretty much went with the tonal new era flag as per usual. Um, easy money, can't go wrong with that. And then one of my favorite patches that I've been waiting for for a while, the 40th anniversary uh, Texas Rangers patch, um, 1972 to 2012. You got even the T in there as well. The state of Texas and even the flag you got red, white, black once again. Uh, that is just too clean, man. I, I love what they did there. Um, just super cool, man. Like one of, like I still need a lot of Texas Rangers stuff and uh, even Houston. You know, this was like a step in that direction for sure. And then also you got a flat batterman here with black fill, red and red and white pretty much on the exterior, uh, super dope as well. Just like I said, like that's the predominant theme in terms of everything. And then uh, you got white guts, green UV, Cooper's Down collection, 100% polyester made in China, and my size is seven three four. It's your first time watching one of these videos, and here it is as you can see. Uh, looks really dope. And with that, let's try the fit. All right, so the fit on this one, super good. I like what they did here. It is really, really nice. Um, just very nice, clean fit. Uh, the side patch goes freaking crazy with the logo. And the back of the hat looks great as well. Uh, I like what they did here. Just super clean hat. Just an easy everyday. You can throw this on with pretty much everything, honest, honestly. And uh, yeah, super dope. Really like this one. All right, so the next hat, this time uh, involving the AL East. The Tampa Bay Rays, but the Jacksonville Red Cap inspiration, uh, which is really cool. And I honestly have never seen Hat Club use this um, logo, the Turn Back the Clock logo. Never seen it. Actually, it was brand new to me. And I see it, I was like, damn, this one is really, really clean. Uh, I love what they did. And especially the AL East, my hometown, Jays, uh, was involved in the pack. And I really liked that one too, but this one swung me. So this is how good it was, in my opinion. To this. this one actually sat for a while. I don't know if it finally sold out, but it was there for at least over a week. So... People slept on this one, for real. And uh, let me bring it down for y'all. As always, you got a predominantly red upper and with a white button. I love like the contrast of the button so far. Then you got the Tampa Bay Turn Back the Clock logo, as you can see in that white. 
And you got that little like clock almost or like wheel turning inside the B, which is really cool. And then uh, also a tonal uh, new era flag as per usual, um, standard. And then this patch also sold me as well. The 10th anniversary um, patch of the uh, Tempe Bay Rays with the Devil Ray kind of swimming in through red, white, and uh, black with even the, the diamond of the infield actually in there as well with all four bases, uh, which is super dope as well. I love what they did there. And the Batterman is pretty much just red and white. Super simple, super clean, can't go wrong with that. Um, on this one, you got white guts, green UV, and that is pretty much, you're gonna see that this is very, uh, very common occurrence in this collection, obviously due to the time um, that greens were pretty much just used around the time of the Negro League. Um, you got Cooper's on collection on this one, 100% polyester, made in China, and this one, obviously, 734s once again, uh, super, super clean, I think they went, made the right choice on that. And with that, let's try the fit. All right, the fit on this one, super good as well. I think it's just really clean, just the way it looks. Uh, this logo, just haven't seen it before. Happy to have it in, especially if they don't use it often. Anyway, backwards, it does look uh, really good as well. Can't go wrong with it. Uh, the red is just super clean. And uh, this has summer written all over it as well, in, uh, in addition to obviously the history of it. This time representing the AL Central. You got the Kansas City Royals this time. The Kansas City Monarchs um, actually... Huge inspiration with Jackie Robinson. He played for the team. I'm not sure Willie Mays did as well, but like two big time players did play that are in the Hall of Fame uh, in Cooperstown. And uh, this was super cool. I wanted to grab some of the piping. They did use it a couple of times. Uh, this one I actually really liked with it. They did a really good job. Looks exactly like the caps they had back then, which is crazy. Um, you got pretty much like an off-white cream uh, top with all the uh, piping there in that red with the button as well. You got that Kansas City logo, which kind of brings you to Kauffman Stadium, where the scoreboard is, uh, with the KC red, black, and white, and the top of the brim is in that red as well. Um, the New Era logo is in the tonal, same as that like cream uh, off white as well, so just standard there. Um, the, they have this 20th anniversary patch, uh, 1969 to 1993 Kansas City Royals with the crown R. And the 25 um, in that white, black, red, and uh, almost like a little, looks a little off way as well. Uh, I don't love the coloring in of this uh, with the black, but uh, I ain't going to complain. There is black on, obviously, the uniform, so it makes sense. Um, also, the Batterman is flat again, so red and white. And then the piping kind of goes uh, in between it as well, obviously, because that is where, uh, where it would go, have to go through, right? So I think that is really cool as well. And then obviously another time with white guts and then a green UV Cooper's Down collection, 100% polyester and made in China. So, and uh, here it is, as you can see, super clean. And uh, with that, let's try the fit. All right, so the fit on this one is not as good as the other ones in my opinion, but the crown looks pretty good. Uh, this does look really cool though. Honestly, it looked like with the piping, like I, it looks a lot, definitely a lot better on me in my opinion than I thought uh, it would originally. And even backwards, it looks pretty cool as well. It's super unique. A lot of people, you got to be a baseball junkie to really understand this, other than just thinking, oh, yo, it's some stupid hat. No, this is like actually what they wore back then um, and it has some history to it and stuff. So uh, I love that aspect of it. All right, so the final one I have from the collection as of right now, because the NL East I uh, did not hit on, I actually took an L on it. So the NL West eventually we'll get to, but with this now, the NL Central. Um, with this, the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, inspired by the St. Louis Stars. Um, this one is really cool. It caught my eye right from the beginning with that um, St. Louis logo in that with royal blue. I thought that was so clean, so cool. And uh, yeah, so you get this royal blue upper with actually a red button, which is an interesting contrast, uh, which obviously comes from the uniform. So that is important as well. St. Louis logo, their standard one. I think it's a little bit enlarged. I'm not really sure. Um, but with the white, it looks great with that blue as well. And the New Era logo is in that tonal royal blue in this case. Very easy. And then the patch. This is another part that sold me. You got All-Star Game, St. Louis, 1940. You got a star in blue, which obviously it could kind of represent the St. Louis Stars in this situation. And you got the Cardinal in that red. And you got silver on the outline as well. Uh, just really cool patch. You don't really see a lot of banger patches like that but holy shit that that one's good and then you got another flat batterman blue and red fill and a white outline um super dope as well they got that one perfect and then once again white guts green uv 
Cooper's Down Collection, made in China, 100% polyester. So really clean as well. They just, you know, White Guts obviously does get dirty a little bit faster, but it does look good. And uh, with that, let's try the fit. All right, so the fit on this one, really good. I really like it. Uh, it's a really dope hat. Obviously, um, yeah, if, like I was a St. Louis fan, like this is a must cop, it's so cool. And there we go as well on the backside, uh, looks really good, especially with the patch and stuff. And uh, this one came out great. And shout out to y'all on the collection. I know this is the last one I'll cover for now, but uh, this one was great, guys. All right, let's get into the collection while y'all are probably here, and that is the Beer Pack. Uh, a collection that I did try and get the first time around. I was on the golf course at the time. I tried to get the Heineken Astros. Uh, did not work out for me. Uh, everything was sold out by a chance, even though I wanted to double dip. Uh, it was just nuts. It was so fast. And I was pretty fast on that drop, too. It's just kind of crazy how it came back, and I was like, oh, okay. So, like, when we heard, we heard about this months ago that we were going to get it again and really soon. We finally did, they did a pop-up in Houston. It was just really cool. Like marketing was really well done. And they expanded upon it big time. Even though they didn't bring back every single one, it was kind of crazy. Uh, the Heineken Astros I wanted the most because that's like the most common beer I do drink. I was bummed about that. I couldn't even get that. That sold out so fast. I swear they had like no stock on that one. Um, but uh, whatever, I guess. I was able to pick up two of them that I really wanted as well. Before we get into that, guys, uh, we will show you um kind of what came with i got two brim clips so this is kind of the other side of the brim clips uh pretty much what it came with on the back side you kind of see all the different types of them you could have got in kind of like a beer can kind of form pretty cool hat club um and then the first brim clip i got i got the one that kind of reminds me of corona you got the hat club with a star i got palm trees um hat club cerveza mexico um and then you got like that kind of yellow and navy blue reminds me of corona uh, the hat, the beer that never got a hat. I don't know why it didn't, but uh, this is really cool. Even on the back side, you got Hat Club in navy and gold right there too. Um, the really cool thing about this is that it's, it's got some weight to it. Very good quality. You could also open actually, you know, a beer with this. Uh, obviously, it's a brim clip to put it on the brim. Uh, it is just really dope. I really like these. Also, the Hat Club uh, ice cold version. It kind of reminds me of Bud Light and a little bit of, obviously, uh, Coors Light. Kind of got that baby blue in there as well with white, ice cold, uh, super cool with the Rockies there. This is really nice stuff. Uh, there we go. Come on, get that to focus. There we go. And then you got like a baby blue and then some white hat club in the back. So, yeah, really dope. Yeah, just those brim clips I think were really worth it. They shipped out about a week later. They put it on pre-order because they wanted to make sure everybody can get them when they wanted them. I thought they are really cool. They're making this a thing now to get actually sell brim clips, which I thought... Is awesome and with that let's just get into the hats obviously one that I wanted the most obviously was was this Coors Light one and man oh man this is fire dude um, I like they got this spot on man and honestly with this gray they never really sell this type of gray they don't sell them not gray necessarily in general much um, but they did they like this is spot on I remember they brought this back this is an old one but uh, you can't go wrong with it got that kind of it reminds me of like kind of like a wolf gray um, upper and then you got the Rockies logo with some red white on the baseball and that baby blue You kind of see on the Rockies with some white in there. Uh, it is just so freaking nice Even like a charcoal outline is really cool, too It's just uh, man oh man just like people will probably think this is Coors Light when they see this hat and Then you got a tonal new era logo flag, whatever you want to call it standard and Then you got a really cool patch the one that I've always wanted couldn't really get my hands like they don't really do it much uh, It's the Colorado Rockies 20th anniversary patch you got that baby blue in the backside glitter um silver and charcoal and a red outline um with the cr logo as well and you got to see like a little bit of the rockies there just super cool they killed it on that one too and then the batterman is in this charcoal fill baby blue and then white which is really dope as well love what they did there so cool and then uh white guts and that kind of like sky blue uv um, Cooper's Down Collection, 100% polyester, made in Bangladesh with this one, and uh, yeah, try the fit. All right, the fit on this is not great. Uh, I do want to stretch it a touch, but it does look good. I can't lie. They, they killed it. The Bangladesh crowns are uh, killers. They look great, and uh, yeah, it just looks fantastic. And the backside looks really good as well. I uh, definitely would love to have a cores with this hat on uh, definitely sometime soon, and uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be uh, on all summer for me. Anyway, here's the last beer pack uh, one I ended up getting, and this time it is Bush, obviously. I don't really drink a lot of Bush, but I did want this hat back then. I thought it was super cool just the way they used the details of the can. I'll have it up here, obviously, just like everything else I had. 
Um, it is just uh, so cool the way they did it. Uh, you got pretty much like a navy blue upper, uh, which is all in there. But then you got the logo. This is where it really shines. You got pretty much the baby blue. Then you got some gold on the beaks, gold on the Cardinals text, white outline. They absolutely killed this, even with a shade of navy. I think on the, on a little bit on the um, on the outline of the bird too. It just like that is just killer art from John Justin when they did this last year. Freaking, I was like, that was fantastic. Uh, you got even also a tonal new era flag, of course, in that navy, uh, obviously standard. And they did really good on the patch. I already have this one, but it is funny they had to use it obviously because it has the 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 beer's name uh, obviously in the stadium in St. Louis. So you use that one, Bush Stadium, St. Louis. Got kind of um, kind of infrastructure outside the stadium uh, with the two Cardinals as well. You got gold in there, uh, even like a different shade, like almost like a mustardy yellow. Uh, you got baby blue, darker blue, and a little bit of silver and white. Um, so they killed this patch as well. It's just so much attention to detail. It is so nice. And then the Batterman is in that royal blue and gold with a little bit of glitter and then some white outline as well. So super dope there too. And then uh, White Guts, once again, literally all video. Um, you got a Royal Blue UV, which is really good con contrast in my opinion. Cooper's Down Collection, 100% polyester, and made in Bangladesh. So let's try the fit. All right, so the fit on this one's a little bit better than the Coors Light, but it's not great. I don't think they got it spot on, for me at least. Um, but it is nice. The crown's really cool. It looks great um, on, in my opinion. And uh, the logo looks cool. Even on the back side, looks great as well. I uh, can't get enough of this one. This one is so freaking nice, super clean, and you can put, like it's it's very simple where you can wear with almost everything, but it's got some pop to it and like some flair, which is really cool. But yeah, that's it for today's pickups. A lot of them, a lot more than usual. Um, these collections were crazy good. I was happy to get stuff from them. Um, and honestly, let me know, guys, what you thought down below of my pickups. Did you go for anything with the beer pack? Did you strike out? Uh, did you cop anything? And even the uh, nearly crossovers, what did you get from that collection? Uh, what were you able to score from? Did you like what they kind of did? Was it too much for your pockets? Because more drops equals more money out of my pocket. So, and uh, with your with yours, probably probably for sure. And uh, but anyways, guys, I appreciate all tuning in to the video as always. I will have more on the way. Uh, another one this week involving the sangria pink martini just came in today. Um, and I believe another collection, oh, the Hat Wheels as well, which is Hot Wheels inspiration. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. And don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video, to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that postcation bell down below as well. You'll be notified for the video. And future ones, I have tons on the way um, as well that are already um, on, like, almost here. So, um, like the Red Velvet, um, the um, Top 30s, uh, Meyer League Hat. So just tons of stuff on the way. So just stay tuned for that. And uh, with that, appreciate y'all for tuning in to my video of the Hat Club pickups that involved the hometown collection and the infamous beer pack. Take it easy, guys.